How about I go? How about I go there? How about I go there? How about I go where? How about I go here? How about I go here? How about now? How about I go? What is a quiet title action? Welcome back. Now, there's considerable amount of confusion and frustration about this episode. Now, I'm not an attorney, I'm not a broker, and I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm going to try to give you some practical insight into this business of quiet title action. So just kind of hang in with me and we'll see if we can cover it. Today's episode, I'm going to discuss quiet title, what the process is, and the fact that it's definitely a lawsuit in the court of law. Now, I'm an author and a guide. I'm going to give you this information from a practical person's standpoint. All right. As I say, I'm not an attorney and I'm not an advisor. In this instance, whoever practices real estate, especially tax defaulted real estate, needs to understand if you get involved in tax lien certificates or tax defaulted property, you're going to have to understand what is a quiet title and what is a quiet title action. All right, so you're going to have a step-by-step process to follow, and it's always a lawsuit. So it could be issued on a residential lot, small parcels of land, and in many cases when you buy at a tax-defaulted auction, the title company will not insure the title unless you get a quiet title on the property. So when we buy, what really happens? Well, we don't know what the county's going to issue us, except they give us a quit claim deed. So we don't know if there was a survey done on the property. We don't know if there was any encroachment on the property. We don't know if people have other claims. So that requires a quiet title process. That's because the new buyer doesn't want to buy a property that has anything but a clear title and they don't want any clouds on the title, which means that someone else has a lien. In many cases, the property hasn't been researched thoroughly. The county will sell the property without a mortgage or a deed of trust loan. However, there could be other challenges of the property. So to make sure the other challenges are cleared, that's why they came up with a quiet title action. All right, so you're looking for, and what the new buyer is looking for, is there any easements that we don't know about or any encroachments on the property? That happens when people sell property and they don't do a survey. So many people sell land and many people buy land and there's no survey. If they don't have a survey on the land, then there could be a challenge on the title later on. So that means a quiet title is going to be a lawsuit in which the attorney has to sue all people that had to do with the property, or he gets some kind of objection cleared up and make sure people quit claim it and the property has a clear title. All right. So although a mortgage lender could get involved in doing a quiet title. Why? Because there might be an adverse possession situation taking place. Now, I'm not able to explain all these terms right now, but you're getting the idea. What is a quiet title? Number one, it's a lawsuit. It is not a quit claim deed. Understand, there's a massive difference between quit claim deed and a quiet title action. All right, so this is an adversarial position. All right, that means there's going to be conflicts, but the conflicts are going to be settled by the court of law. So that's why you have a quiet title, and the action really means that a lawsuit is taking place. All right, remember when it's all said and done, a court order will be issued, and that will settle the quiet title. So the court order means you're going to have to pay an attorney to get a court order, and then you're going to be able to give the new owner a quiet title to the property, and then they'll be able to get title insurance. I know it sounds a little on the complex side, but when people buy property, they want to make sure there's no other liens, judgments, or things that have happened to the property. They want to make sure it's clear. So this is somewhat cumbersome, somewhat frustrating, but it's part of the business. We buy from the county and we get a quit claim deed. That does not clear the title. The challenge is the title might not be clear, and that's why we have a quiet title. So the county treasurer will issue a deed. Now, that could be a county deed, could be a tax deed, could be a treasurer's deed, any of those, but those are all quit claims. Quit claims means that the county is not responsible for the property condition, nor is the county responsible for any defects in the, in the title. So how will you clear up any of those defects that are taking place? Well, that would be a quiet title action, which means you have to hire an attorney to do that. All right, so this paragraph is important to understand because the county, even though the county government 
is issuing you a deed that doesn't necessarily mean that the title is completely clear on that property. All right, so a quit claim is worthless to a commercial title company. Quit claim deed doesn't mean anything to them because they're not going to insure that property unless there's a court order or there's a quiet title action signed off by an attorney. Sounds very difficult, okay? But it's not. It's been around for decades. In summary, the new buyer at an auction has purchased a property with no guarantee of physical condition and no guarantee of warranty on the title. You, you will receive a quit claim deed from the county. No matter what the name on it is, it could be a county deed, a treasurer's deed, commissioner's deed, uh, and any number of kinds of deeds, but it's always a quit claim deed. That means the possession of that property means anything to do with the physical condition is your concern. Anything to do with the title is going to be your concern when you buy at a tax auction. So what's going to happen next? If you haven't hired a qualified, experienced attorney to do the quiet title, you'll need to do that. So this is not unusual when you buy a tax to follow the property, but you need a qualified, experienced attorney. Now, there's nothing to be afraid of. This is happening all the time, and most of the properties will clear through and get done quickly, although I have experience where it didn't get it done quickly, and I'm going to tell you about that in just a moment. So here's a good example. I bought a tax defaulted property at auction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her going here. Start me off. Where to be to go? Have it a thousand dollars. Open it up. Okay, now my exit strategy was to sell the property. So I purchased the property for $140,000, and I did that online using a credit card. That all worked fine. Now, I didn't spend that kind of money without having an exit strategy. My exit strategy was to sell the property at three hundred fifty dollars to $400,000. So I thought I was buying it low at one forty, dollars and I could sell it at three fifty dollars to four hundred. dollars That was my plan. So I went ahead and purchased it. The real estate dropped substantially in that following winter. The property started fading in value. All right, there was a lot of work that had to be done between the one forty dollars purchase price and my hope for selling price. So I did end up selling it for 280,000. All right, so I bought it for 140 and I sold it for 280. All right, now that all sounds good. However, I bought a property from the county. The county issued me a quit claim deed. That simply meant the condition of the property was my responsibility. The defects in the title were also my responsibility. I employed an attorney, actually a judge that was retiring, and it took 13 months of diligent work before the judge would issue a quiet title. Why am I telling you that? Well, that challenge of getting the title clear cost me 13 months of ownership that I didn't really want because I could have sold the property, but I couldn't get a mortgage on the property. The people couldn't get a mortgage till we had a clear title. So what did I have to pay? I had to pay taxes for 13 months. I had to pay heat cleaning, landscaping, snow removal, security bill. You're getting the idea. I had to do all that for 13 months while I waited for the title to be cleared. All right. It just doesn't work out the way I wanted to work out. Yes, I made a profit. I bought the property right. I sold it right. I was okay. I solved my problem and I made a profit. That all worked out for me. The point is, it's not something to be afraid of. It happens all the time. So what is a quiet title action? It's a lawsuit. An attorney files and records with a county recorder. A lawsuit's taking place, and the attorney does all that for you. You must have an experienced attorney to do that. You don't want to just ask anybody to do it. But once the attorney gets it past the court, the court will write a court order, and now the title will be clear, and the title company then will ensure the new buyer will have clear title of property. Now, there's no guarantee of success. If you don't have a coach, there's a good reason to have one to kind of get you through the process what I'm talking about. Don't confuse quit claim deeds with quiet title. A quit claim simply means that someone can give you whatever they own. They can give it. They can quit claim it to you, whatever they own. But if they don't own anything, they, can, they don't have anything to quit claim. So they only can convey to you what they actually own. So a perfect example with that would be a husband and wife. Unfortunately, they have a divorce. All right, so the divorce couple says, all right, uh, one is going to end up with the property. So the other one could quit claim their interest. So that would be a quit. So one person could give up what they have to the other person. That would be a quit claim. Don't expect that you're going to take a property that's got a whole bunch of problems 
and quit claim it to somebody else. Uh, you don't own those problems. The person that owns a property has the problem. All right, so you can't walk away from the problem. So a quiet title action is going to be required. There's people think that they can quit claim and they're going to walk away from, from responsibility. It's not going to happen. I can assure you of that. All right, now let me close up this video with this. Everyone's going to give you advice about tax liens and tax deeds. All right, that's wonderful if they're going to do that. All right, challenge is they don't know about quit claim and they don't know about tax liens and deeds. All right, so people are going to give you advice. Some of them are older, some of them are younger. Your, friend, your friends will give you advice. Even your enemies will give you advice. The problem is they haven't had any training. So you need to think about who you're going to learn this from. It's important to understand who is going to help you. You might need a coach. You don't want to take advice from other people about tax liens and tax deed if they don't have some training and formal way to help you out. All right, I'll close this by saying it's not easy to do, all right? Now, if it was easy to do, well, that's like having a job. So if you want, to, if you want something that's easy to do, get a nine to five job. This is not easy and it's not risk-free. However, the rewards are big. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state in the next 90 days. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm going to show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and auction calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction 24-7. Folks, if it's a small population county, they're going to have dozens of properties, maybe even hundreds of properties to auction. However, if it's a large population county, they're going to have hundreds, even thousands of properties. I've attended sales with two and 3,000 tax defaulted properties in one county. So you can do this business, and that's where the interactive map comes in. All right, if you'd like to have a free auction list, you can just register below and request a free auction list. I'm Ted Thomas. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.